Hello? Hey, bitch. Did you get the cast list? Yeah, I'm so excited. I got the role of Anne Frank. I mean, it just really means a lot to my family. Half of them were survivors. Oh. <laughs> you didn't get the revised cast list? Wait, what? I'm Anne now. <laughs> but you didn't even audition. I know. I was just walking down the hall and the director heard me doing one of those Jewy accents and she was just like, you are perfect. But I just called my bubbies so they could arrange for her to get out of the hospital to come see the show. She, she's my only legal guardian. Oh, your grandma's dead. She uh, lost control of her motor scooter or something and went into oncoming traffic. She died. Why wouldn't anyone tell me? I mean, I guess we just figured you'd be pretty bummed about the Anne thing and blah, blah, blah. But that's not the reason I'm calling. You are never going to believe what happened to me. Wait, wait, hold on. So basically, I was walking down the street humming that Kelly Clarkson song that's like always in my head. And guess who I bump into on the street? Who? Ryan Seacrest. He came up to me when I was humming and he was just like, look, I'm really sorry to bother you, but um, I think that you have the potential to be the next American Idol. So then I banged him. <laughs> I know, I totally thought he was gay too, but apparently not. Anyway, we go down to the auditions and Randy, Simon, and Paula were like, oh my God, you're it. So they told the thousands of people who had been waiting there for like days in the like, freezing cold to just leave. You were gonna audition for that, right? Yeah, I... I actually sold my left kidney to pay for voice lessons. To... <laughs> well, it's not like you don't have another one, dummy. I just hope that one doesn't cop out in you because I heard dying from kidney failures like a bitch. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. That's really comforting. So Ryan flew me out to LA in his private jet to start recording my album ASAP. And guess who's in the studio when I get there? John Mayer. He's your fave. I know. I was like, oh my god, Sam would die. Um, I almost did, remember? I, he was my one make-a-wish when I was in the hospital with leukemia as a child. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, don't worry. I was thinking about you the entire time. Until he started singing to me, Your Body is a Wonderland. And then I let him start exploring it. Ew. Well, anyway, so then... Look, Becky, I have to go. I... I should probably go to my Bubby's funeral or something. Don't be rude. I'm not even done my story yet. I didn't even get to the best part. <laughs> no, seriously, shut the f*** up! Ugh. Some people can be so rude.